Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. I got four to get onto your radar right now. Let's talk about that. Today's episode is brought to you by Big Daddy Unlimited. That's good news for you in 2020 because finding stuff right now is such a hassle. Think of Big Daddy just like Sam's Club or Costco. You join and then as a member, you get access to ammo, parts, guns, optics, build kits, all sorts of stuff. It's a one-stop shop for everything and it's 99 cents to join. I've never been a member before and I joined today just to check it out before I showed it to y'all. I certainly think it's worth a dollar. So check it out over at BigDaddyUnlimited.com. Hey, to all of y'all, a big thank you for every thumbs up. Comments down below, always welcome as well. Hey, Space Force is available. Y'all check it out. Y'all been loving Space Force. Link down below. Okay, got several things to go over here. Want to hear your opinion. And today's kind of a roundup day. A lot going on. Number one, there's an assault weapons ban being challenged, or the assault weapons ban in California is being challenged by the Firearms Policy Coalition. So the FPC, they have led this lawsuit. Y'all have been watching it. The, the name of the lawsuit is really long, but it's FPC led. I'm going to leave a link down below to that. Check it out. Like those of y'all that like reading that stuff, gets a little garbled with all the legal ease, but they're challenging it hard. Now, good news, and this just came out this week, is that a federal judge has denied, bam, they have denied the that California has made a motion to dismiss the case or dismiss parts of the case. And this judge said, nope, not happening. And that's really good news. So the lawsuit is proceeding forward. Callie has filed and they filed a dismiss. That judge, man, good for him. Again, link down below. I think this one's worth staying on top of. Too often we in the free states dismiss California and say they're a bunch of fruits, flakes, and nuts, which some of them are. To be fair, we also have a lot of friends over behind enemy lines. I mean, I have a lot of friends in Cali, so we're watching. Number two, Amy Coney Barrett. She's kind of the talk of the week. Now, the big question is, and I have a question for all of y'all as well, where does she stand on the Second Amendment? Good news is, is that the Supreme Court, if and when they occasionally do hear cases, they're super strong towards the Constitution and upholding the Constitution. Yeah, that should be a no-brainer, but even right now, it's nice to be able to say that. However, to get her onto the court is... Good news. Just yesterday, the GOA, they released a just a short statement about her going through some of her brief history on her rulings and opinions on the two-way, and it is good news. And I think for me, that's just the easiest way to say it. I read all the stuff, and it's just basically say, hey, thumbs up, at least on her stances on the two-way. That is pretty cool. I'll put a link to that as well down below. You can check that out. Like one of the areas is that that those that, those that challenge the two-way, they say, well, you know, the two-way is really what they're talking about is the English law, the old English laws, and those aren't really about self-preservation and self-protection. And the, the good judge, old Judge Barrett, she said, nope, it is absolutely about self-protection. So again, with this one as well, there's a lot of legalese and stuff. It's good news. So from a two-way standpoint, I think she's a good pick. That's a question of the day for all of y'all. What do you think? Those of y'all that have done more research on her, what do you think? Number three, whoo, the debate is tonight. What do y'all think is going to happen? That's all I want to say on that one on number three is it's coming tonight. The funniest thing about it is that Trump said he wants to have drug tests immediately afterwards for both of the participants because he thinks that Sleepy Joe is going to be hopped up on something just to keep him upright. That is comedy. Too bad that this is not an actual fight over the leaders of the free world. Yeah, it's too bad that's what we're actually finding comedy in. But in 2020, we take what we can get. Number three, or number four, there's a Wisconsin couple that has been denied, it looks like, their Second Amendment rights and their rights towards self-defense if they want to continue being foster parents. And it's in George, it's in Wisconsin, uh, Germantown. I, don't have, I didn't write it down. Germantown, I'll put the link down below to the article. But the point is this, one, it's just a bad situation that they're going to have to give up their right to point and shooties to be able to continue and get requalified as foster parents. It goes against state law. The state law issues them a CCW. Now they can't use it in the home or have anything in the home that's not locked away in order to continue working with these children. We have children sitting in orphanages and in bad situations right now. This couple is trying to help these kids out. They've been foster parents for years and they're being denied. Now, my point is bringing it, one, it's just a bad situation. Two, 
Backdoor gun control once again. This is what backdoor gun control in 2020 looks like, and I think it will continue in the days ahead. A lot going on. I grabbed four just to bring to your all's radar today. What do you think? What are y'all thinking about? Our right to self-defense, self-preservation, regardless of the tool that we use from my cold, dead hands. See y'all. Bye.